Pratik Goddesses. Welcome to another episode of Planet Aphrodite with Meena. We all are said to be practical, to know our reality. But do you know there are people who can transcend reality and work beyond three dimension? So today's goddess is a magical one. You know, she has a magical wand and she changes the reality as for her convenience. So she changed her sickness into health, her poverty into abundance. She's a lifelong entrepreneur and only certified reality transurfing instructor and an alternative space adventurer certified by Vadim Zeeland himself. So goddesses, put your hand together for Renee Garcia. Hi, Renee. Hello. How are you? Hi. Thank you for having me. I'm doing well. Thank you. It's such a pleasure and honor to have you on our show. So already straight away going to your story and it's an incredible one, goddesses, so stay tuned. So Rene, please tell us about your story. How was your life like? Wow, well, it's been a long journey and I've seen a lot of different um, states of being and mentality uh, within myself from the absolute lowest low to the absolute highest high. So it's uh, been a remarkable journey. I started, um, I, I, I grew up in a very, uh, a very lower middle class uh, family and I didn't have a lot of nurturing. I didn't have a lot of support or guidance and I struggled for all of my childhood, uh, adolescence, going into adulthood. And after a series of very challenging events where I almost gave up entirely, I decided that I was going to take my fate into my own hands and create a better reality for myself. And I was very fortunate to find this book, Reality Transurfing, uh, and use those concepts to help me start building a better relationship with myself, getting my mind uh, working in a better, more efficient and effective manner that helped me to achieve a lot of success, but primarily success of a personal nature. And that's just um, elevated self-esteem, better quality thinking, better, um, better, a better outlook, a better worldview, I, I guess you could say. And then in doing this, I was able to create an external reality for myself that was much better and ideal and yes it's been uh it's been a lot of different a lot of different shades of a lot of different colors in my life from very very gray very bright and beautiful and now my purpose is to help others around the world connect with this knowledge that may be challenged with various aspects of their self or their reality or their situations. And again, I, you know, I come from a position of really not having much support, not having, uh, you know, not having a social standing, if you want to look at it that way. So I understand I understand the challenges of people that have poverty mentality or are born into a class system that they feel they can't, uh, they can't expand out of. I overcame a lot of these challenges myself. And yes, my, my purpose now is to just really focus on getting these tools to others so they can help themselves in achieving a better reality. Great sharing there. And uh, Rene, uh, can you discuss one challenge uh, that you overcame with self-love? You, you, I have, I'm following you and I know you have, you know, in every aspect of life, you've just transformed it. It doesn't look like your old reality anymore. You know, everything yes. has just transformed totally. So yes. uh, one challenge that you would like to discuss with our goddesses today. Wow. Um... 
can I discuss two? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so, so the first challenge would be the belief system. So I have this little diagram or illustration that I have in my mind of me being inside of a box and the walls of the box are made up of my beliefs. So most, mostly why we do not have the things that we want in this world, and I'll speak for myself personally, is because those things were existing outside of the walls of my box. Right. And in order to incorporate more of what I wanted, more healthy relationships, more financial stability, um, all the things that we strive to have as humans, I had to expand the walls of my belief system to allow those things into my life. And I think this is where a lot of people are either misled or going wrong in their realities in their life is they feel like once they obtain the thing, then they can feel like they are worthy or better. Right, right. You know, but it's actually about feeling like you're worthy, feeling like you deserve, right. feeling the state of having it before you have it. This is what allows you to actually have it. So my mindset before I found reality transurfing, before I started on this journey of, of self-love and self-care and feeling as though I was worthy of all the things that I wanted, before this, I would approach life as, as soon as I have someone that loves me, then I'll feel like I can love myself. As soon as I feel like I have enough money in the bank, then I'll feel a sense of financial security. As soon as, as soon as, as soon as, but that as soon as would never come because my walls were still the same. It didn't matter if I was able to even grasp what it was I was looking for for a moment. It would fall through my fingers because in the end, I didn't really feel like I was deserving or worthy of it. Right. So working from another perspective first, you know, and it's not about, it's not about believing that you're worthy or you're deserving. It's about knowing that you're worthy or deserving. You know what I'm saying? Like it being yeah. a fact really? rather yeah. than... Yeah. than a belief, you know, or a wish or a hope, or maybe if I get this, maybe if the world, so this is the, this is the fascinating thing about, about the concepts of reality transurfing. We view that first the world has to give to us, then we can feel, but first we must feel, and then the world agrees, right? Yeah. It's the other way around. So this was probably one of my biggest my biggest challenges. Um, the, the, the other challenge that I had was working from what I call a down and backward perspective. So I have these two different versions of me, okay? Mm -hmm. I have a version that is my lower nature. This is me working from fear. This is me working from a, a place of scarcity mentality or poverty mentality. This is me thinking about the things that I don't want to see in my life. I don't want to be poor anymore. I don't want to be mistreated by uh, a romantic partner. I don't want to struggle. I don't want to have fear. So this is my lower nature. In reality transurfing, we know that even if you don't want something, even if you are against it and you you, you really don't want it. You are still inviting it into your life by right. not wanting it. Yes. So, so acknowledging the difference between that mode, my old self looking backwards and down. This is my lower nature in action and my old mindset versus my new mindset, 
which is my forward and upward mindset. This is me only thinking about what the things that I strive to achieve are. This is me staying connected with a goal. This is me knowing that I'm deserving and it will all come to me in time if I can keep my perspective on the forward and up rather than the downward and back. So really both of these challenges that I describe, there's a common thread running through them. And this is a shift in perspective. Right. It really has to do with a shift in perspective because it doesn't matter what you obtain or achieve or, you know, all the different things that can happen. If your perspective is of a lower nature, you will continue to suffer. If your perspective is of a higher nature in a positive upward trajectory, then you are connecting to the higher version of yourself and life will become better regardless of the external circumstances as well. So it really is all in the mind, 100% in the mind. Then the reality responds. So understanding that has been, those two things has been my biggest challenge. Wow. It's so deep. It's, <laughs> it's very deep. It's, it's very deep. Yeah. Yes, it's very deep and it's very life changing, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Part of my story is, is that, uh, you know, when I, when I finally decided to start my own business and I was achieving some success, this was in my late twenties and early thirties, I was able to obtain a little bit of wealth for myself and, uh, a little bit of comfort financially, but my mindset became more and more negative and i was in a very detrimental downward spiral of poverty mentality still the poverty mentality actually got worse mm -hmm. with the more money i made and the reason was is uh i was making money and feeling as though that whatever i was doing was going to help me achieve a happier mind but at the same time, whenever I made something, my fear of losing it became even greater. And it didn't matter, like I said a little bit earlier, it didn't matter what I achieved, my perspective was still messed up. Same. So it was, it, I actually got worse until I finally had a breaking point and realized that something really, really needed to change internally. So this is the culmination of, you know, many years of me thinking about these things and receiving insights and working with them. And this shift isn't going to happen automatically right. for anyone. This is a process, but even just a little tiny step in the right direction will make a wild difference, you know, and then you just continue to build and build and build. But again, we're not, we're not programmed as human beings to see, um, our lives or our reality this way. We are, we are programmed to believe, well, once I get the nice house, well, once my business starts making more money, well, once my husband starts being nice to me, then I can be happy, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yes. Yes. Wow. So uh, you have been there, did that in so many areas of your life. And um, what about the goddess who is listening to this episode and says, maybe um, I do not have those many years or maybe you can shorten her journey by a small baby step. So what is the gem you are going to offer, Renee? Well, um... First of all, I would say what I was just talking about, that two different perspectives, right? The, the, the backwards and down versus the forward and up. If you can really start to clarify to yourself that behavior that is the backwards and down, Okay, and you can start to pinpoint where your thoughts are uh, fear-based or thinking about what you don't want or 
um, thinking about not being worthy or that things are intended for other people, not you. All those think, all those sorts of, of thoughts, all that thinking. If you can start to, if you can start to recognize when you're doing that, and then have a solution for yourself. You know, say, okay, I don't want to be poor anymore. Time for that thinking to stop. I want to, I want to feel financial comfort. What action can I take in that direction rather than thinking about what I don't want to see happen anymore? And this brings me to something else I will offer is um, the power in making a different choice for yourself today. If you are stuck in your reality, if you are living your day with the same actions and the same thoughts, and you right now say to yourself, I want a better life, I want something more, or I want my own business, or I want um, something greater than I have now, knowing that you will need to take a step in that direction today. So, so setting an absolute intention, even if you don't know what to do right now, committing to taking a step outside of your comfort zone in any direction. Maybe this is simply walking a new way to work. <laughs> Maybe this is uh, connecting with an old friend you know that started her own business and asking her how she did it. Maybe it's doing some research online about something that you make or a service you feel you could offer, how to get started with doing that as a little business or something, some sort of action that is outside of your normal realm of actions in a different direction. So if you can do this just a little tiny bit today, what this does is it trains your ability to take action in another direction. So if you can do this just a little bit today, tomorrow maybe you can do it a little bit more. And then the day after that, maybe you can do it a little bit more. And if you can continue on this path of taking steps outside of your comfort zone for maybe an extended period of time, let's say like a month, after the end of the month, your reality and your mind will seem a lot different. You'll feel a lot more, a lot more courage, a lot more power, and you will start seeing your physical reality start to shift and change in a different way. That's really, really powerful gem there. Thank you so much, Renee. And Renee, I'm sure after listening to such a wonderful conversation with you, our goddesses would like to follow you. So what are the social media handles you would like to share? Oh, wow. I've got a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> well, you could, you could start if you would like to m learn more about my journey and the tools that I use on a daily basis. I have a very thriving YouTube channel called Reality Transurfing TV. I have a, a Facebook group that is a support ne network for people just learning transurfing or even some advanced. There's a lot of advanced people on there as well. It is called the International Transurfing Institute Facebook group community. You could follow me on Instagram, reality underscore transurfing, or you could go to my website where I have lots and lots of resources, both free resources, you could enroll in a course, you could um, have a live call with me if you become a member. This is transurfing.us, www.transurfing.us. Perfect. So goddesses, without much ado, just follow her and it's an amazing platform. You know, following her has been a pleasure for me. And every, with every video, there is a new insight. So it's amazing. Thank you so much, Renee, for your time, for your wisdom, for, for sharing your life with us and inspiring our goddesses. Thank you so much. Namaste. My pleasure. Bye-bye. Thank Bye. you. Such a wonderful episode. 
and what Rene shared was just keep shifting the walls of your comfort zone. Keep expanding. So I wish that each day you push the boundaries of your comfort zone and let all your dreams enter that. With that thought, see you next week on another episode of Planet Aphrodite with me now, next Friday. See you. Bye-bye. Namaste.